Good evening, family. It's 1032. Do you know where Miss Norma is? I'm here. I just got home from work. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our reading for March the 6th is titled The Ripple Effect. The scripture lesson is Proverbs 18:21. It says, The tongue can bring death or life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for bringing us through this day. Grateful, Lord, to be home safe and sound. Amen. Father, there may be some that are getting ready to go out and to go to work, Lord. Or maybe they have an errand or something to run a family member to go see about. Whatever it is, Lord, just keep us all safe through the night. Continue, Lord, to keep your angels around us and that we might be safe, Lord, when we go out. Blessing and healing to all of our land. And thank you, Lord, for everyone that is here and present today. Whatever day they watch this channel, I pray the video would always be a blessing. Amen. The Ripple Effect. Something she said stayed with me. You will find it's hard to trust all your girlfriends. The one you least expect will put a knife in your back, usually because of a boy. As a young teenager, I was horrified at this thought. I knew it would never happen to me. My friends were loyal and loving. I did not think about it again until it happened during my first year of college just as my mother had said it would. I felt stunned. I cut my former friend out of my circle and filed the experience under lesson learned, quote and unquote. This unspoken awareness of the duality of the impact women have in one another's life has expanded over the passing decades. Some women have spoken wisdom into my life, while others, the words of others have hurt me, depleted me, and broken me down. To be fair, most were not spoken to be intentionally cruel, but came from a place of deep hurt. Each of us, ladies and men, has seasons where we hurt others due to the healing needed in our own lives. As we do the work to grow and allow the Lord to heal us, we start to see the roles our words and actions have played in painful experiences of those we love. When I first stepped out of a 25-year marriage, I saw only the pain inflicted on me and recalled the hurtful words spoken to me that diminished and finally crushed me. It was the words of a trusted friend who allowed God to speak through her to me that carried me. She was his comfort, love, and hope when my world went dark. His voice beckoned me to carry on, learn of his grace, and to start over again. He restored my soul and brought me back not only to himself, but also to the purpose for which he had created me. Now by his grace, I use words and stories to demonstrate his power, love and restoration to those who are hurting. I call this the ripple effect. One, I'm paraphrasing, person encouraging or mentoring, un mentoring another, speaking words of wisdom, caution, affirmation, and encouragement. As we uplift one another, the ripples flow from one to the next to the next and together we all grow stronger. Amen. As women, 
we, as we women, profoundly impact one another from generation to generation. Let this be our prayer. This is my daily quote in the mornings. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Psalms 1914. Amen. Those of you who, that have been with me almost from the beginning, um, this was in the video, well, in the uh, description of the video. And I still say it every morning. I say it sometimes throughout the day. Our reading today was written by Emma Smith. Amen. Thank you, family, for being here. Thank you for waiting. And I'm so glad to be home this evening. Blessing and healing to all the land. And by his grace, I will see you in the morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Whatever time you're here. Thank you. This is Miss Norma. And remember, the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our friend. Amen. Good night, everyone.